Hi, my name is Daniel Hutchins, and today I'm going to play another audio, Marvel and Fox Boost the MCU. And I apologize that I'm not able to record these with my with myself, except the only problem is they are actually AMR files. And when I tried to upload an AMR file to YouTube, it didn't exactly work, so I figured this option of me recording with my phone with, to the audio from my computer would work better. So here we go. Okay, so I'm going to talk about how a Marvel and Fox deal could really boost the MCU. No one actually expected Marvel Studios to strike a deal with Sony that allowed Spider-Man to shift between studios until such a deal actually happened. Now Sony and Marvel are teaming up on Spider-Man Homecoming, while the updated version of a classic hero was able to make his MCU debut in this time with Ben Records of the War. The point being, no deal is impossible, which makes today's news exciting. I'm it very tentative. On episode of Clyde, if you were Batman on Batman's podcast, producer Matt King weighed in on what he has heard regarding a possible partnership between Marvel Studios and Fox Marvel. While nothing is set in stone and a deal is still years away, at the very least, it sounds like a possibility, as he said on the show. I've heard from a few of my sources, my little bird, that Fox and Marvel have time to talk, but not really. But there's interest from Fox for years from that ever possibly happening, but I think that's what it will take. Is Fox going to hand the Marvel? What's possibly happening is that Fox may be paying attention to the fan reception of this deal between Marvel and Sony, which has allowed Spider-Man to change studios while also keeping a foothold in Sony, and they may be looking at their options. I don't think that Fox would ever give up its new property, even though X-Men Apocalypse didn't make days of future past money. It's still a hit and a base that the studio can build on for new mutant exports and Wolverine stories. Where does that leave Fox? There are three deals. I think the studio can make that would greatly benefit Marvel and earn some bounty points from Fox in the eyes of comic book movie fans everywhere. Release of the Fantastic Four. Fox has taken two stabs at Marvel's first family and neither has really connected. Ten Story delivered two Fantastic Four movies, but that was so long ago. Current Captain America Chris Evans was actually the human choice. Now that Michael B. Jordan is moving on the Black Panther, I'd be really surprised to see Fantastic Four 2 happen, even the cast of the most recent reboot, which means the team could transition over into the MCU in a similar way to how Spider-Man moves over. Here's what you do. You pretend that the Fantastic Four has been part of the MCU already, just as Tony Stark's Rock Knight Jr. was aware of the presence of Spider-Man, who introduced a new team in one of the Avengers Infinity War movies, like in his first one. As existing Marvel viewers are preparing for arrival of Thanos, an existing team is poised for a standalone film, like Homecoming. If Marvel audiences take to a new iteration, you don't need a third origin story, you just get a new Fantastic Four. And so, this is the end of the article that I read off of Cinema Blend. So, when you get a chance, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks.